In this video, I'm gonna be breaking down kind of a underrated concept out of the U-Trips formation in Madden 22. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos like this every single day that can just help you become a better Madden player. So if you're looking to get better at the game, I'd really encourage you to click the subscribe button down below. It's free to do that. And it'll just keep you up to date with the latest tips and strategies here on the channel. And like I said, we're gonna be going over U-Trips or wide off trips packs. This can be found in the New England playbook. And um, if you're in practice mode, we're gonna be going over the play scat and how you can use this to beat literally every coverage in the game and why this could be one of the most underrated concepts in Madden. So a um, couple different things, but let's just walk through this. So very simple. Um, but what I want to show you in this video is how we can really abuse this uh, curl route in combination with our tight end drag. So uh, we're just going to start first and foremost with a cover four defense. And our setup is really simple. We are simply going to fade our outside outside receiver, Mike Evans. We're going to block our running back. And then what I like to do here is we're going to drag our tight end and we're going to curl our solo receiver. So you see, it kind of looks like this. Now, what's really cool about this setup is we can do a couple different things with this. But what I like to do is motion this guy to the left and it'll turn him into this kind of like post. And then what's really nice about this is if they're not playing hard flats, you have this tight end that is wide, wide open. Now, another setup that is basically kind of a variation of this is to in route the backside if you don't really care about having a clear out route for Scotty Miller. So as you can see right here, um, the reason why you might want to do this is again, if they're running a lot of you know curl flats, cloud flats, this is a really, really good way to abuse it because you'll notice that this drag, you can kind of rat catch this for about five to 10 yards if they're not playing hard flats. So what this is gonna force, and I'll show you a cover two here real quick. This is going to force them to have to, um, to have to cloud flat, or not, I'm sorry, not cloud flat, but uh, hard flat. Now, the other beauty of this setup here is if you put a running back in route out there, now you have a flooding concept to the right and you have this little mesh to the left with that curl flat glitch. So again, here you'll see real simple. Again, this is cover two and you see how I can kind of cut this off in um, you know with that, with that drag. Now, um, the beauty of this is also, like I said, if they hard flat your curl, should typically be wide open. So you see right here, there's the hard flat and you see that that curl, uh, I'd moved, I accidentally moved the spy all the way into the play. So let me show you that again. So again, just cover three. If they hard flat, you'll see that this uh, curl is gonna be wide open as you can see right there. Now, the other thing that's really interesting about this concept is how it works to the back sides. So like I said, you can motion this over and turn this into a post if you want to. Um, if you don't, you can leave this like this and turn this into a corner. Now, if you're going to turn Miller into a post, I recommend either a backside in from Mike Evans, kind of like this. And this is just a simple way that again, we're just trying to get underneath everything, just kind of attack, you know, and as you'll see here, if they come underneath those yellows, you've got that post coming over the top of it. So that's kind of the idea with this play. Now the other beauty of this is we could also do kind of an underneath mesh concept. Um, what you might wanna do with this though, is you can actually take your running back and you know you put them on a wheel um, like this, and then you have kind of a little underneath kind of mesh play, mesh post type of play, where you have your double drags, and then you have this post that gets kind of perfectly underneath all of the deep blue zones. So they have to use her, the post over the middle of the field. Now, again, another beauty of this setup here and, and just some of the things you can do with this mesh concept, you can kind of create this mesh from two different routes and two different alignments. And so uh, something like this, and again, like I said, they're gonna have to play hard flats to come underneath. So if they're playing hard flats and they're not Maybelline out of that, you're gonna see that that corner 
is going to become very effective over there on that left side. Now, let's say, for example, that they are going to go ahead and they're going to play cover two and they're going to put a hard flat over there for, you know, your drag uh, or your running back in route. What I want to show you is something that's really interesting about U trips. Um, this fade is really good at, a, you know, kind of a, a over the top route against cover two. They actually played that fairly decently. I'll show it to you one more time. But a lot of times this fade will get separation against the cover two. The cover two is obviously the best defense for this. So again, just kind of pass lead that to the outside. You might have to aggressive catch it if you get in trouble. Um, you know, they are playing cover two a little bit better with the recent patch as far as they, they pull back so much um, if they're in a cloud now for whatever reason. But anyways, you can try to hit that fade, but if that's not something that you wanna to try to hit, I want you to notice that this curl and the drag is still something that you have going for you on this backside. So what we can do with this is again, we force our opponent, they have to shade their coverage down and they have to have a hard flat over here to guard this concept. So they have a hard flat and a cloud on this side and they have a hard flat and they can keep, keep that vertical hook um, over here on this side. But again, what this, what this does, um, just with the way that we're gonna run this, is this tight end drag will suck a lot of zones to him. And then you'll see here that this vertical hook will kind of drift away. You can kind of throw that if you aggressive catch that. That time the vertical hook played a little bit better. Um, you might want to motion out your solo receiver. And I'll show you why that can be helpful for this cover two um, situation, this exact situation. Because if a vertical hook will never play outside the numbers, it'll only play inside the numbers. So if you're ever kind of getting, you know, just spooked, if you will, then I would do this setup right here. And what you'll see is this curl. Um, you see how that vert hook doesn't play it and the flat gets kind of sucked in to go guard the, the drag because it's a hard flat and they have to hard flat to stop the drag. So that's a way that you can kind of get around this problem. Um, let me show you one other thing with this motion out piece. You can put this guy on a smart routed in if you want to as kind of a backside check down. But another thing that you can do with this is notice again that cloud flat's gonna suck up and I can throw that for about 15 yards. So that is a little bit about scat. And like I said, what's gonna start happening is they're gonna have to start double mabling to defend this concept. So they're gonna put their flats on about 25, curl flats on five and hook curls on five to try to stop this because we're attacking the outsides on both sides. So what I like to do in this situation is I can then go to a setup like the first one and I'll show you what they're gonna do defensively. So we're gonna double flat and then our users all we have in the middle of the field. So this is where I really like the, sec or the, the second setup I was talking about, which is the curl to Godwin, the drag to the tight end. If you wanna drag your running back or in route him, you certainly can, um, or you can block him, that's up to you. And then you have this backside post now motion to cross so you're looking for your drag first if that's not there notice your curl is there and why is your curl there because they have zone drops on and because there's no vert hook in that area of the field they have to have a vert hook in that area of the field now the other thing with this that i really like about this setup is now that we have that if let's say that they kind of go and they user the hitch route or the curl now your post again is really good at getting underneath Z zones and when you aggressive catch it you're going to get this nice little ag um, dive catch animation just like that now another concept that you can um, that you can run is an out to your tight end so you could do something like this and then put an out to your running back this is a little bit better in terms of man coverage and the reason you might want to run this is again, if they're in, if you're anticipating that you could be getting some Mabel concepts, or um, if you just want to get your running back a little bit more involved in this play, this is a really really good play because you have this little post coming across, and now your tight end is going to kind of pull these flat zones out of the way, 
and you see how open that post can be thrown right in the middle of the field. U-Trips is a formation that has routes that get to very unique positions, and it's also a formation that you want to learn how the underneath principles work in order to open up your deeper passing down the field. I want to thank you for watching this video, and if you want to get my full U-Trips offensive ebook, I'm going to put a link to it in the description of the video down below. You can get all of my Madden guides by joining my Patreon membership, not just my U-Trips, but of course, if you want to get my U-Trips, the link is in the description. Thanks for watching the video, and if you want to sign up for that, join the Patreon at, uh, at the link in the description.